Welcome to our Nourish Self-Care Circle Yoga Practice. This practice will focus on grounding, connecting us to Muladhara, the first chakra. You'll find a comfortable seated position, sitting on your mat on the floor. If it's comfortable for your knees and your hips, you can sit with one foot in front of the other in Sukhasana or easy pose. Feel free to sit up on the edge of a blanket or a cushion to help your hips relax. And if having your legs crossed in this way doesn't feel good for your knees, you can always stretch one or both legs out in front of you. Start to take a little rock forward and back and side to side and balance your weight on your sits bones. Once you feel like your weight is balanced, bring your torso to the center, lift up through the crown of your head and rest your palms turned down onto your thighs. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Begin to draw your attention into your body. Notice the places where your body and the floor connect, feeling the earth rise up to support you. Each time you inhale, visualize that breath drawing in through the nose all the way down to the base of the spine. And as you exhale, empty the lungs completely and let the spine grow a little taller. Take a few more deep breaths just like this, letting the hands be heavy on the legs. Feeling the sits bones sinking down into your cushion or into the floor as you rise up through the crown of your head. Check in with your knees. If you need to give your legs a little shake, please do so now. And then as long as it feels okay for your joints, come back into easy pose, placing the right foot in closest to the pelvis and the left foot in front. Touch your fingertips down to the ground in front of you. Pressing the fingertips into the earth, take an inhale, lift your chest and lengthen your spine. Depending on how your hips and your knees feel, you may stay right here or use your exhale to slowly walk yourself forward, only coming as far down as feels safe for your joints. Keep your sits bones really planted into your cushion or into the floor as you come forward. Head can hang forward to release the neck. And then start to breathe so deeply as if you're drawing that breath down into your hips and your lower back. With your next inhale, slowly walk yourself up tall. As you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. And touch the fingertips down on either side of you on the floor. Take an inhale, lift the crown of your head up. Staying grounded through your sits bones as you exhale, start to turn to the right. Let your right fingertips tiptoe back behind you. Left hand can stay planted on the ground in front of you, or you may cross your palm to the opposite leg. Sinking down through the sits bones, soften the hips and let the knees be heavy as you lift and lengthen through the spine. Welcoming your breath into all four sides of the rib cage. As you exhale, slowly turn back to the center. Stretch both legs forward and shake out your knees. And then come back into easy pose, this time with the left foot in closest to the pelvis and the right foot in front. Remembering to modify this if you need to, to keep your knees safe. Touch your fingertips down to the ground in front of you, pressing into the earth, take an inhale and lift your chest. You can stay here or slowly as you exhale, walk yourself forward just to the depth that feels right for your body. Drawing the breath down into the hips. Use your next inhale to slowly walk yourself up tall. Exhale the shoulders back and down, planting your fingertips on the ground on either side of you. Again, press the fingertips into the earth. Inhale to lift the crown of the head up. And as you exhale, slowly twist to the left, tiptoeing the left fingertips behind you for support. Right hand can rest on the mat in front of you or cross to the opposite leg. 
Stay grounded through your sits bones so your pelvis stays balanced and stable. And take deep breaths here into the sides of the torso. As you exhale, slowly come back to the center. Stretch both legs out in front of you and shake out your knees. Keeping the legs stretched forward, hip width apart, flex your feet so the toes point up towards the sky. Plant your hands on either side of the hips, palms turned down. And as the hands press down into the earth and the toes point to the ceiling, lift the crown of your head up and take a deep breath in. Lightly engage your abdominal muscles as you exhale, hinge from your hips and slowly start to fold forward. Keep reaching and lengthening out through the crown of your head until eventually your spine needs to round. And then if it feels good to allow that to happen, let the spine round forward and take your chin towards your chest. Allow your arms to relax and soften your gaze or close your eyes. Each time you breathe in, imagine drawing your breath all the way down to the base of your spine, the seat of Muladhara, your first chakra. As you exhale, let all of that breath go and let gravity draw the upper body towards the earth. Each time you breathe out, soften a little bit more. Draw your navel in towards your spine. And as you inhale, slowly roll yourself back upright, using your hands, walking up the legs to support you. Lift your head up last. Once your head lifts up, roll your shoulders back and down and give the legs a little shake. And then make your way on to your hands and your knees. Once you're on your hands and your knees, bring your knees and feet together. Tuck your toes under. Hands can be under the shoulders to begin with. Let's take a couple of breaths here as we start to open up through the soles of the feet. And depending on how this feels for your toes and your feet today, you may stay right here. Or slowly, as you exhale, you can start to shift your weight back more towards your heels, sitting your bum back towards the feet. Hands can walk in closer to you. Going slow, so you make sure you don't create any pain in your body. A sense of a deep stretch is fine, but nothing sharp or shooting. If you reach a point where you feel like you'd like to sit back on your heels and rest your hands in your lap, you're welcome to do so, but make sure you can be there with a steady, easy breath and no pain in the body. We press into the toes and the balls of the feet slightly, so we're not just sinking down into the earth, but we're also rooting down and rising up away from it and lengthen through your spine. And keep your lower jaw relaxed. As you inhale, slowly shift your weight forward again, back out onto all fours. You can untuck your toes and give them a wiggle or lightly tap the tops of the feet on the floor and get the blood flowing. And from here, place your palms slightly ahead of your shoulders. You spread your fingers wide apart, hands shoulder width, knees underneath the hips, tucking the toes under again. Be conscious of your connection to the earth here, especially through your palms. Rather than just pancaking the palms down onto the floor, I want you to be really active in your hands, pressing down through your fingertips and the knuckles of your hands. Ideally, you feel a little bit of space lift beneath your palm. So if you have a look at me, I'll just show you with my hand in the air, this gripping action of the palms into the floor so that we're actively rooting into the earth, pressing away from it and letting that energy rebound up through the body. With the hands pressing into the floor, the toes tucked under, take an exhale, relax your head down and engage your abdominal muscles. And then go slowly here as you inhale, start to lift your knees away from the floor, lengthen your spine and then your legs, coming into downward dog. And just notice how it feels to press your body up away from the earth. Stay grounded through your palms, sinking into the fingertips and knuckles of the hands. And as your hips lift up towards the sky, 
Shift a little more weight towards your heels and draw your chest towards your thighs. It makes absolutely no difference how close your heels get to the earth. As long as you feel a stretch in the back of the legs and the spine is long. Spread out through the fingers and the toes. And notice what your breath is like. Take a few more deep breaths here, building strength through the upper body as we stretch into the backs of the legs. And then slowly as you inhale, walk your feet towards your hands and really take your time to notice each time your feet connect to the earth. Notice how it feels. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Once you've found your way into a forward fold, take your feet hip width apart and parallel and spread out through your toes. Even if it doesn't look like anything's happening, have the energetic idea of spreading, broadening your foundation. And the arms can dangle or you could cradle your elbows with your palms to help decompress your spine and allow the crown of your head to hang heavy. Drawing the breath deep down into the bottom of the lungs. And release your hands down to dangle towards the floor. Press down into your feet and make sure there's a little micro bend in your knees. And draw the navel in and up, imagining you're trying to tuck the abdominals up underneath the rib cage. Press into your feet and use that as your power as you inhale, slowly roll yourself up to standing. Your hands can walk up your legs to support you. We'll lift the head up last. Coming to stand in mountain pose, making sure the feet are still hip width and parallel. Spread out through your toes and then press down through the four corners of your feet. Big toes, pinky toes, and inside and outside edges of the heels. As the feet press down, make sure there's a little micro bend in your knees as you float the crown of the head up. Try to find your neutral spine here. So if you took one hand over your abdomen, one hand at your lower back, just make sure that you're not tucking your tailbone or overextending your spine and compressing your lower back. Find that happy medium, the tailbone gently grounding down towards the earth as the navel gently draws in and up, lengthening the front of the body. You can roll the shoulders back and down away from the ears and let the arms relax. Chin parallel to the floor as the crown of the head rises. And then soften your gaze or close your eyes and notice how it feels to be here. So often when we stand, we're either shifting most of our weight into one leg or we're just kind of letting our body sink into the earth rather than rooting down and pressing into it a little so that energy can rebound up through our bodies and give us length, steadiness, and strength. So as you stand here active, find that balance between being active without being rigid. We want to still stay pretty at ease so our breath can come and go. Imagine each inhale drawing all the way down to the soles of the feet, right into the earth, rooting you. And as you exhale, the spine grow up a little bit taller. And now gather your palms together in front of your chest. Find one spot to focus on to help hold you steady. And with your next inhale, I want you to slowly lift your heels up away from the earth. And then as you exhale, slowly lower back down. And if that feels wobbly, it's totally okay. Just notice this relationship, what it's like as you inhale again to lift the heels up with control away from the earth. And then exhale to slowly lower down with control without letting gravity just pull you. So you can keep doing that as you inhale, lifting up. Exhaling to slowly lower. And if you want to get a little more adventurous, try a couple times with your eyes closed. And if it's super wobbly, don't worry about it. Just explore your relationship to the earth. The little micro adjustments the body's always making. And with your next exhale, let the heels settle into the earth again, rooting down through the feet as you rise up through the crown of the head. Relax the arms down alongside the body. 
Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And take a moment to be steady here. Steady in your breath. Steady in your body. Each inhale drawing all the way down into the soles of the feet. Each exhale lengthening the spine up a little bit more. When you feel ready, you may softly open your eyes and re-enter your day. Namaste.